Hi everyone, welcome you all to Deep Matrix. In today's video, we are going to design a summing amplifier. First of all, what is summing amplifier? Summing amplifier is a operational amplifier based circuit which is used to add multiple input signals of different voltages. So in a nutshell, we can say that it is an amplifier used to add the input voltages that are given to it. So we are going to design it. First of all, we need a op amp. So I am going to search for op amp. So this is what we need for today's circuit design. So next I am going to flip the op amp. Mm, where is the rotate and flip? So flip block upside down. I have flipped the block in such a way that my non-inverting terminal will be at the bottom. So next we need resistors. So we need to pick those components in blue color because we are using a Simscape component for the simulation. So I need an another resistor. Okay, then I need a one more and also I need a feedback one. So I'm going to connect the circuit. So this is my feedback resistor. I'm giving it to here. So this is how I connected my resistors to the operational amplifier. Next we need a voltage source. I search for voltage source. Okay, we need a AC voltage source. Mm. In this circuitry, I am going to need two AC source because we are going to add those two AC sources. So the result will be um, drawn here. Okay, after connecting the voltage source to resistor, I need a ground which is a electrical reference. So everything should be in blue color because those were Simscape electrical components. Next I am going to need another electrical reference for shorting the inverting terminal. Okay here is our connection. Next we need a voltage sensor. Mm, yeah here is my voltage sensor. So voltage sensor is used to measure the voltage across my AC circuit sorry AC source so I'm gonna need another voltage source hmm. okay I'm connecting across this second AC voltage source Okay. okay next we need a physical system to simulink converter so this block is used to move the data from a simscape component to a matlab environment so that we can use a scope to view the results scope I am going to need three ports for uh, two AC voltage input and my output. Okay, I am replicating this PS block. Mm. So it is not working, I don't know why. Mm, before that we gonna connect the second PS to simulink converter for voltage 1 so wait let me see how it was connected yeah 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 
because here we don't have this arrow function so that we do we cannot connect the ps to simulink converter to this point so i need another voltage source so i'm connecting this voltage source from this point to this point okay now i got another ps converter okay this is our circuit connection i have connected all the necessary uh, circuit components to make this circuit as a whole so last but not the least we need a solver configuration mm, okay mm, solver configuration So this block is used to solve this physical component like physical uh, in this case our uh, circuit which is in blue color. So you need to connect this solver configuration to any of the components which you can see which is in blue. Okay thus we made our connection. Next I am gonna say give my input. We will say 3 volt. I am gonna set my frequency to 1000 so for each second we have 1000 cycles so now we'll set to 5 set to 1000 because um, for running the circuit for uh, 10 seconds is a big computation that we can't afford to make even though we try to run it will work but it will take some time and in some cases uh, maybe in worst case scenario uh, our system get hanged so that's why I kept my frequency to 1000 I'm gonna change the run time to 0 0.002 uh, which means for 1000 cycle we gonna view the two cycles okay I think we all set so we'll set the resistance to 50 ohm I am going to set 50 ohm for all the resistor which I have inside the circuit. So that uh, while computing the formula it will cancel out. At the end we get uh, output as a sum of the input voltages. So I think we are ready to go. We will run the circuit. Okay. Uh, the run was made. So next we are going to view the output okay where did it when go hmm. wait the yellow color was perfectly all right red one was okay but we are not getting the output okay we'll see where it went wrong hmm. Okay, I need it to give it to electrical reference or EF. So now I think it will work perfectly. So these are our inputs. So this first yellow color line which is a 5 voltage input and here is my 3 voltage input. So as you can see 5 plus 3 uh, will end up in 8. So this is my output voltage which is in blue color. So thus our circuit is working perfectly. Uh, see you in the next video. Until then enjoy learning. Thank you.